Meanwhile, in Wellington, more than 100 passengers on board a luxury yacht have been left stranded after their cruise was cancelled despite no cases of COVID-19 or anyone feeling ill. Passengers on board the La Lepreuse were told the news last night and are scrambling to figure out how to get home. This comes a day after Wellington's first COVID-19 case was confirmed. That person travelled from Australia after being tested over there but finding out in New Zealand that the test had come back positive. Logan Church reports. The milk crate was locked shut today after a visiting Australian man aged in his 50s found out he had COVID-19 while at the popular cafe. Its owners have since shut the doors and while not commenting publicly today, announced on Facebook it had closed as a precautionary measure despite health officials assuring them the risk of the virus spreading from the man was low. Meanwhile, at the dock this morning, about 100 passengers from Le La Perouse luxury yacht are trying to figure out how to get home. David and Michael from France were on an 11-day cruise from Auckland to Dunedin. But last night they got some bad news, despite nobody on their sailing being unwell. We were told last night that the cruise would end here in Auckland, and the sh- Wellington, excuse me, and, the, and that the, we could stay on the ship um, until tomorrow and the ship's working hard to try and get us uh, arrangements to, to leave the country. What was your reaction to that? Great disappointment. We've been we loving love New, Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. As of one o'clock this morning, all cruise ships not already in New Zealand waters have been denied entry to the country. But Zvalu La Perouse was already in New Zealand waters. Checkpoint has asked the boat's owners, Ponon, exactly why the cruise had been cancelled. Early today, it said the company was trying to get all of its passengers home before further travel restrictions blocked them altogether. David says he had also been trying to get through to the airline, but hadn't had any luck. We have tickets, but we need to change. We need to change the bookings, and it's it's hard to reach the airline because their phone lines are always busy. Have you so been trying to I've get been, in touch? I've been trying to get in touch. Haven't been able to yet, but I'm. We'll figure it out. Well, have you got a plan B? I guess we stay in New Zealand. We'll try. Hope we can get a hotel room. Meanwhile, at Wellington Airport, many passengers leaving the country are expecting to self-isolate for 14 days when they get home. Among them were Jan and Michelle of Sydney, who have been holidaying in New Zealand. The Australian government followed New Zealand's lead yesterday, announcing all incoming travellers would also need to self-quarantine. We have 14 days self-isolating, so I think that means staying at home, not going out at all, wearing a mask if you go out to put the rubbish bins out. We found out yesterday so that's, that's what waits us back home in Sydney. Seeing the situation escalate from afar, the pair were already starting to stock up on things like medicine. Yeah, yeah, I bought two weeks extra just in case and a book just in case and my iPad just in case I got stuck somewhere. Meanwhile, Ben and Katie of Boston in the United States have done the opposite. They have come here on their honeymoon and they're about to go to the usually busy tourist hotspot, Queenstown. I mean, we're expecting it to be a little less empty than we thought, but we kind of like, we will like the seclusion because of it. <laughs> but they are worried about the situation back home, which seems to be rapidly deteriorating. The Centre for Disease Control has confirmed more than 1,600 cases across 47 states, including Boston, and 41 deaths. So what I've been told just from friends and family that it's pretty much deserted, the streets and the, like the MBTA, our public transportation system has pretty much been not shut down but just completely empty and it's really hard to find basic groceries at the grocery store. Okay. Schools are closed um, up to a month at this point. Um, really only essential workers should be on the roads, nurses, doctors and that's about it. In New Zealand there are still eight confirmed cases but no new ones in the past 24 hours. In Wellington for Checkpoint, Logan Church.